Qualcomm has been very busy filling up its 700 series with a whole different range of processors. And today we're going to be testing the ZT Axion 11, which has the Snapdragon 765 against the Poco X2, which has the Snapdragon 730. So technically the 765 should win, but will it? Well, let's find out. Okay, so we have the ZTE or ZTE Axon 11 on the left-hand side with the Snapdragon 765G. On the right-hand side, we have the Poco X2 with the Snapdragon 730G. So the 765 and the 730 are based are roughly on the same kind of architecture. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And of course, because the 765 is higher number, it should do better than the 730. And we're going to find out. And as I'm saying that, it's starting to prove it can, as it was the first into the compression test and actually quite a leader already being built up over the Poco X2 and the Snapdragon 730G as we are now into the compression test. Both these devices are zipping up and unzipping files to see how well the CPU and the storage work. And we're now into the 16 thread test. Both, of course, are octa-core devices. We'll talk more about the cores and the GPU in a few moments time. But already we can see that the 765G is ahead of the 730G. Interesting pattern there, much different patterns between the two, much straighter on the right-hand side. But we're now into the mixed CPU GPU test the blur test on the left hand side and now the blur is on the right hand side so still the lead being taken by the uh, zte or zte as it's now into the infinite scrolling list and upcoming now will be the smoke particle test that will give us the first frame rate indication for 2d graphics 2d graphics on the left hand side what's it going to be here it should come up any moment now what is it there we go 19 frames a second very different to what of course we see on the premium flag it's now on the right hand side we should also see a frame rate but as i'm saying that the ZT is now gone in 18 frames. So not much of a difference there, not much of a difference as we go now into the Unity test. A head start, a big head start now by the ZT. It's first off, the pitch hasn't even shown up on the right hand side yet. There we go, just starting now. And of course, a slight difference in screen resolution, slightly lower on the right hand side, in fact, as it's working its way, but it is 120 hertz. Not that that will affect the overall speed. There we go, end of the Unity test into the Unreal test now on the left hand side as the X2 is now coming down also to the river and turning to the right. However, the ZT is doing much, much better. And as I said, we would talk about the difference. The 765, of course, has one core, it's A76 core, which of course uh, clocked at 2.4 gigahertz, and then another A76 core clocked slightly lower, and then six A55s, whereas the Poco X2, there we go, two minutes, 15 seconds, whereas the Poco X2 has two core, it's A76 core, uh, clocked up the same clock frequency and then six uh, called AP5. And then it comes to the GPU, it's the Arduino 618 on the X2 versus the Adu uh, Arduino 620 on the left hand side. There we go, what's it gonna be? There we go, two minutes 34.2. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, a convincing win by the Axion 11, 2 minutes 15 seconds, and then the 730G powered Poco X2 comes in 19.2 seconds later at 2 minutes 34.2. So when you break down the CPU time, 54.4 versus 59.8, so that's a 5.4 second lead by the Snapdragon 765G in the Axion 11. When you get to the mixed CPU GPU, then it's 29.5 versus 32.1, not so much of a pronounced difference, but still a win there by the Axon 11. And then when you get to the GPU, 51 seconds on the nose for the Axon 11 and one minute 2.2 for the Poco X2. So that is an 11.2 second difference there when it comes to the GPU. And when you have all those times, a clear win there, two minutes 15 for the Snapdragon 765G in the Axion 11. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.